Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are doing fantastic. Check it out. I love doing videos about the AR-15 and reasons why you need one. And the reason why I love doing this is because people attack this rifle all the time. This is like the rifle they are attacking. And the reason why is because they wanted to take him away because apparently it's a, a crazy rifle, right? The crazy thing about it is that every time we see uh, let's say, for example, if we see a bad guy using one to do bad things, good guys show up with the same rifle to defend us. So as a good guy, I like to have a gun that is going to allow me to defend myself. But I like talking about this rifle because the majority of the things that you hear in the community, not in the community, in the haters, uh, communities are lies, really are, you know, like... You know, you could kill somebody at a mile away or you could make a hole in somebody's body uh, uh, super big or you could shoot like a bazillion bullets at a second and literally straight up lies. And the American people see videos like that or see comments or tweets and, and they get really confused. And some people are not educated enough to know about a rifle. And next thing you know, what we have is a propaganda against the Second Amendment and against uh, rifles like this going on. The crazy thing about this, and before I get into the reasons why, I'm going to say this last uh, last thing is that it's just they, they have a plan to take away our guns. Don't think for any reason that it's about this rifle. Don't think about it. It's not about this rifle. It's about taking your guns away. When they're done taking this rifle, they will, or if they are successful or doing that, they will attack another platform or another firearm. They will go from this to pistols, to shotguns, to the moment that they want to take everything away. It's not about this rifle. It's about taking your rights away. So if you're a gun owner and you agree that we shouldn't have an AR-15, remember, it's not about the AR-15. It's about taking your rights away that's what they really want to do and again i'm kind of kind of done with that all right so why you need an ar-15 and here's the deal guys they, they i'm going to start with this one and out of this one everything else is going to play it out an ar-15 is going to allow you to defend yourself better that's it boom done i mean that should be only one reason and we should stop right there but you know for the purpose of having a video and just having a great time talking about guns and you guys put in comments down below we're going to continue but essentially uh, it allows you to defend yourself better you know this rifle will give you a capability that is just fantastic many different capabilities and it's going to allow you to defend yourself better against a threat again i'm going to talk about some of those things in, in the oncoming reasons why but again you know you can't compare this to a pistol you can't compare this to a shotgun you can't compare this to a bolt action rifle you can't compare it to pretty much none of those systems right ak-47s and things like that uh semi-automatic rifles with a respectable caliber i mean you could compare this rifle to those but you really can't compare this platform to a pistol to a shotgun and things like this uh like that this thing just gives you a lot more capability so what is some of those capabilities first of all it is easy to shoot really is you know this ar-15 is just something that is very very easy to shoot and we're not even talking about reloading and things like that we're talking about just the fact that you could shoot this gun very very easy specifically with scopes and red dots and things like that a rifle is something that for a new guy some of you guys are new into the game some of you guys may go like what are you talking about man you know it's a rifle it's not as a, a pistol uh, uh, but again, you know, and, and again, I don't want to go into like which one is better than, uh, or which one is easier than other ones. You know, I'm not trying to go into that, but what I'm trying to say is that a rifle is easy to shoot. I mean, this thing is just pretty simple. You have different points of contact. Obviously you have it here in your shoulder, really there. You know, you have your hand right here. You can hold it really well, really stable, and you are able to put rounds down range very easy i mean it's not scary at all i know cnn and, and and all those liberals gun haters continue to say that it's scary and if you guys remember the guy from cnn the reporter that that did a video the what is what it was it the the full semi-auto whatever and the guy was like 
it's not like that. That was a propaganda video. That was a video to, you know, show fear to the American people and to pass an agenda. In all reality, this rifle is really easy to shoot. You just put it in your shoulder and you could pull rounds downrange very, very easy and very effectively as well. Now, one of the best things about a rifle like this, guys, is the fact that you have a ton of of accessories right and along with that accessory it's going to be the fact that it's popular and you can make it your own so it's kind of giving you two reasons right there so essentially what i'm saying is accessories such as scopes uh red dots holographic sites could allow you to shoot a lot better right and, and that's a point that i'm going to touch right after this but again you know you got a flashlight here so essentially you press you have the light on so really easy Put it on my shoulder, press, light on, I could search, I could look through my scope or through my holographic sight or through my red dot. I could easily identify a threat. I could easily see it. I could easily put that red dot where I, wherever I had to put it and engage. If I need some lights, I could put the lights, right? So again, you know, very, very easy to put accessories, to put things like that and make it your own. That's kind of what I'm saying. You know, some of the guys like a one point slim, like I got right here. Some guys like a two point. Some guys like uh, a stock like this. Some guys like a different stock. You know, some guys may like a holographic size. Some guys may like a red dot. So again, the fact that you could make it your own, it's really nice. And it's mainly because it's a really popular rifle that allows you to do that not every platform out there is popular not every platform is out there has a lot of different accessories this one does you can find all kind of different things you know like hand guards if you like this type of hand guards or you like a different type of hand guard i mean you could find it you could make it your own obviously uh red dots and things like that you can make it your own as well some people just want to shoot shoot out with iron sights because they dig it and they old school if you're one of those guys i don't recommend it i like having a red dot but again if you're one of those guys let me know down in the comment section below but you could really make this rifle yours and again the accessories in the market are out of control and you could pretty much buy whatever you need you know again you know some guys kind of not going into a rampage on this but some guys may have some uh disabilities as well you know some guys can't see as well uh some some guys have issues with the with, with the vision and when it comes to a platform that you could put a red dot you could put a, an optic such as this that is going to help you kind of mitigate those issues that you have that's just fantastic and that just works really really well for your self-defense plan now guys i was talking about optics i was talking about red dots you know scopes and things like that and one of the things that you're going to get in a rifle is accuracy and the reason why is because of that the ability to have all these optics is going to give you drastically a really uh, i guess improvement in a way on accuracy i mean it's really simple to get a scope or to get a red dot to get a holographic side and learn how to use that dot and put it on, on on a thread and engage right when it comes to a pistol sometimes you have three dots sometimes you have different dots i mean you have to hold that pistol uh with your hands obviously you know you don't have three points of contact like here you have a point right here you're holding the rifle i mean again you have your shoulder you have your uh, your pistol uh, grip right here. You have your handguard. You could push this rifle back. You could hold it. You could make it stable. So again, you have the ability to to put this gun in a really stable platform. You know, just recently I was talking with uh, Tactical Man, and we were talking about Slim and utilizing your Slim to make your rifle more stable to shoot. And we were just talking about that. He was making excellent points. I think he's gonna be making a video about that. So definitely check out his channel. But the point that I'm gonna to try to make here is that rifles like this, specifically having a longer barrel, obviously you have, you, you don't have, you know, this is a longer barrel. Uh, you could get a lot of, you know, a better accuracy than you're gonna get out of a pistol. So what does that mean? That means that you could shoot better really better at a faster you know faster and, and at a longer range so you never know what's going to happen i mean we're talking about survival situations we're talking about addressing uh different threats we're talking about you know having a rifle that allows you to fight and protect your family so having that accuracy is fantastic and optics like this is just going to allow you to have 
a platform that is going to be really accurate. In fact, a rifle is way more accurate than a pistol. I think everybody knows that and nobody could argue that point. There is a reason why the military uses a rifle for fighting versus a pistol. Keep that in mind. If the military does it, most likely it's a great idea. So another reason that I want to mention, and it's kind of tied off from what I've been talking about, is the fact that you can address a threat at a longer this thing obviously a pistol is not going to give you that capability now there are some guys shooting at 100 yards and things like that i mean god bless them they, they're really good but the basic guy can't do that you know for me to hit a target uh i don't know a 12 inch plate at 100 yards with a pistol you really got to take your time and you really got to uh know what you're doing a rifle it, it just doesn't do that nowadays you could put a nice scope on a uh, on an ar-15 and you could be ringing steel 200 yards like a school you know just uh i guess several months maybe a year or so ago me and tactical men were at 200 yards just ringing steel with uh i think it was 10 ar-15 i mean that thing was so accurate uh accurate i was just like shooting rounds and, and it was just like bing 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 non-stop and it was just really easy and the thing about it is that it doesn't really take a lot of training i mean anyone that anyone that takes the time to understand the rifle and understand how the scope can work you could get that really good uh long range accuracy out of the rifle again another capability that a rifle give you that a pistol just does not give you so one of the things that you're going to hear about the ar-15 from many guys is that 556 five, won't do it you know a lot of the ak lovers always get into debates about that you know what i got my points maybe i could talk about it in a video maybe i did i don't even remember but the reality is that the 556 five, is pretty decent you know the military uses it they've been fighting in iraq uh afghanistan you know all, all over the place for many many years with the 556 five, and it have done the job have done the work yes for some missions they have to bring bigger calibers no doubt about that and it was necessary but overall the 556 five, gives you a great capability you know you have the ability to have a good amount of rounds you know typically you have 30 rounds but not only that those rounds are now really extremely heavy so that allows you to carry more ammunition as well you know it's not the same of carrying a higher caliber on your body than carrying you know five five six you know when i was in combat i used to carry a ton of magazines and it was heavy but i was able to do it now as a regular civilian you know full of mashed potatoes and things like that i could probably carry several magazines comfortably for a pretty decent uh distance right some of you guys could do the same so again it gives you a larger capacity you know you have 30 rounds typically we put what 28 in the magazines that i've been doing that for years and, and again you know it allows you to carry a lot of rounds so why do you need a lot of rounds you know again you know you never know what you're going to face we're not talking about any situation we're talking about any possible situation again okay? i'm not talking about a specific one i'm talking about a rifle that is multi-purpose and that's the reason really what you need an ar-15 you don't know what you're going to be facing and having a rifle that allows you to be utilized in multiple applications is just critical again you know you could carry a ton of magazines and that's just definitely something that uh gives you a great advantage as well People tell me all the time, and it's kind of funny, you know, they say, you don't need an AR-15. And I said, really? Watch Ferguson, watch Maryland, watch uh, riots where people were getting property, were getting burned, houses were being burned, businesses were being burned, people were getting attacked, and they were calling 911, and 911 could not respond because the massive amount of people in the street uh, committing horrific crimes, right? So it definitely a rifle like this is going to allow you to address many different threats, and, and that's just fantastic not only that guys i gotta tell you an ar-15 allows you to address many different threats fast and accurate again you know having it in your shoulder being able to identify a threat being able to have the larger capacity being able to have the accessories that you need it, it may allow you to address different threats very very fast again there is a reason why the military has it now i'm gonna say one of the last reasons i could go all day some of you guys have comments putting down below but one of the last reasons that i'm going to mention for today i may come out with more videos about why you need an ar-15 but one of the last reasons is that it's just 
Again, you know, part of being very easy to shoot, like I said at the beginning, I think it's a good choice for new guys. Really do, because you know what? It's lighter. It doesn't really weigh that much, right? And again, like I said, it's easy to shoot. But in my opinion, because a lot of times people say, well, get a shotgun. You know, a shotgun would do it. But in my opinion, it's just definitely way better than a shotgun it gives you more ammunition it's lighter it's easier to maneuver i mean it's just easier to operate you know the fact that you have you don't have to rack that slide every single shot may confuse some new shooters so the fact that you just engaging the trigger uh, it may be easier the fact that you have more rounds it's just gonna allow you to address more uh, more threads but again you know you don't have to reload as you will have to do with a shotgun it's just less things that you got to do as a shooter so i think for a new guy for a beginner i think a beginner could get this rifle and easily in, in you know in quite some time doing some training and practicing those skills that person may be able to shoot this rifle pretty effectively at a regular you know pretty safe distance now as that person increases his skills or her skills she could continue to push or he or she could continue to push into the point that you're getting the full capacity out of this rifle meaning that you know what maybe you're shooting good at 50 yards but maybe you get to a point where you're shooting at 200 yards with no issues maybe you're getting to a point where you could uh uh you know move around your house with a rifle like this because again maneuvering a rifle is totally different than maneuvering a pistol but then you could get into a point where you could maneuver this rifle through different counters and things like that and, and you may do a good job so again guys i just wanted to give you some reasons why you need an ar-15 a lot of times when people say you don't need that evil rifle it's just scary yes there's many reasons why you need them or why you need this rifle Obviously, the biggest reason to me is going to be the fact that it's going to allow you to defend yourself a lot better than a pistol. I think everyone should have an AR-15 because, and again, you know, here, here's the thing. I want, I want to say one more reason why. They are fun to shoot. Go to the range with someone that owns one. Put some rounds down range, and I got to tell you, you will have a great time. Let me know what you think. Put comments down below, and as always. Goddess in control.